The following video is potentially serious, so use this information at your own risk, and I'm not responsible for anything that you choose to do. Be strong. Be strong. So in this video, we're going to be uh, doing a walkthrough on how to install the fat wrap. And that is a series of exploitation tools that is used within Linux, uh, specifically for Kali Linux. And it's used for creating uh, payloads and uh, various Trojans and backdoors. And um, you can also use it with things like Metasploit and MSF Venom. So as said, it's for creating backdoor payloads and viruses in order to gain access surreptitiously, of course, to various computer systems. Now, I'm going to walk you through on how to install it and we'll take you up to first run. But it is important to know that these tools are quite serious. So exercise extreme caution with that and just think before you type and think before you do anything. Otherwise you could wind up in quite a lot of trouble. And as always, don't use this on machines that are not yours or that you don't have permission to, um, to run these things on. And as always, I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so when it comes to installing the fat rat, <clears throat> there are a few things that we need to do. The first thing is we're going to go up into where it says terminal emulator and click that. And that will bring us up our terminal window. Now uh, I'll try to zoom in a little bit so you can see this. And now what we're going to start by doing is we're going to type in sudo apt-get update it'll ask for a password so we'll give it that now what we need to do is we need to now that we've done our apt get update everything is up to date what we're going to now do is change directory so that's cd space and then desktop with a capital d as you see that's going to change us into our desktop directory. Now what we want to do is make a directory. So mkdir, all one word, space, and then fat rat. That creates a, a desktop directory, uh, or a desktop folder. Now what we want to do is we want to actually change directory and go into that. So it's going to be cd, space, fat rat so now we've changed into that now what we need to do is quite simple on this one we need to get a git clone code commit from um, github so what we're going to do is we're going to git clone space https colon slash slash github dot com forward slash capital s then lowercase screech sec so s c r e e t s e c slash capital t for the capital f fat capital r a t the fat rat dot git and that clones us into our um, github code commit so we can actually start downloading this it's fairly straightforward easy to do so we'll just give that a few minutes so obviously you will need an internet connection so just give this a while So we're just waiting for a bit on that. Shouldn't take too long.
Uh, sort of around 84% here on this. So it's still going. Once this is done, then what we'll need to do is change into that directory, which would be CD the fat rat. Then it's LS and then chmod plus x setup dot sh. And then we would need to uh, parent directory and setup dot sh. I'll show you how to do all of that anyway. So it's just resolving deltas. That's done that. So what we're now going to do is we're going to change into the directory of fat rats as cd space the fat rat. That's got us into there. Now we want ls. That gives us our list of um, our files and directories within that parent directory. Now what we want is chmod space plus x space setup dot sh and then we hit enter on that and now we want parent directory space setup dot sh uh, permission denied okay so what we might have to do is sudo uh, command not found why is that oh there we are it didn't put a space in it so you just remove the space, so it's dot slash then setup dot sh. And now we just wait for this to do its thing. And we can back out of this a little bit. So all it's doing here is just checking our necessary packages with current repo. So that's our repositories there. Right, okay. And just enter to continue setup. And it's looking like it's doing that. Now we don't have Xterm installed, but that will install it for us. So the fat rat detected an incorrect version of MINGW installed. Do you wish to remove it and install the appropriate one? So we're just going to type yes for that. We'll zoom in so you can see that. And it's just setting up MINGW mono develop tools. So we'll just give that a moment. As I said, we're doing this in real time, so you can follow along anyway. If you're not sure of anything, just pause and rewind if you have to. And yeah, you might want to elect to grab coffee at this stage as well, because it can take a while. It should be done in a few minutes or so. So we're just waiting for that to to complete. Right, okay, so monodenvelop is installed. Now it's just installing the genome terminal, 
which has done that. So we can just sort of zoom in a little bit there. This is all perfectly nominal, all fine. It's a process that usually may take about five, ten minutes, something like that, at this point. Right, okay. Now we have options here. So to select one of the options, bellow. One is to set up backdoor factory path manually, and two is to install battery, uh, backdoor factory from Kali repository. So we're going to um, do this automatically, so we're going to select option 2 and then enter. And it will just go ahead and install that for us. It's just updating the repositories and a repo. Right, okay. Now write output directory for fat rat generated files or press enter to default. So the default is slash root slash fat rat underscore generated. We're going to leave it as that. So we're just going to go ahead and press enter. And then we're prompted, do we want to create a shortcut for fat rat in our system? Uh, so you can run fat rat from anywhere in your terminal and desktop. So we're just going to go ahead and choose yes for that. And that pretty much is done. So to execute the program, it's fairly straightforward. What we're going to do is come out of that. So we'll just hit clear. Clear again. Exit. And that brings us back to our home screen. And as you see, we have the fat rat file there. But we want to run this, so we're going to go back up to where our terminal emulator is and left click that. Bring up our terminal. And then all we need to do is just type fat rat. And it tells us that we must be root. So we clear that. And then sudo sudo space fat rat. And it will prompt us for our password. So it's just checking everything anyway, and this will be uh, its first run. And then we're prompted with don't upload to virus total. Um, so, yeah, you, you don't want to be doing that. So enter to continue, and we're greeted with this rather lovely sort of image on screen. Yes, okay. So it's starting Postgres equal, and we're just going to press enter to that. And there we are. So what we now have is the fat rat running. And as you see, we can option one, create backdoors with MSF Venom. Two, we can create FUD 100% backdoor with FUDWIN. That's version 1.0. Option three is create FUD backdoor with Avoid, version 1.2. Option four is to create FUD backdoor with backdoor factory embed. Option five is backdoor in original APK. So Instagram, Line, etc. Uh, yeah, Line, etc. Six, we can create a FUD backdoor thousand percent with Pwn wins, which is an excellent choice. Seven, we can create our backdoor for Office with uh, Microsploit. Eight, we have Trojan Debian package from a remote access. 
Nine, we could load or create auto listeners. Number 10, jump to MSF console. 11 is search exploit. 12 is file pumper, so you can increase your file sizes. Uh, 13 to configure default, uh, default L, uh, L host and L ports. 14 is clean up, 15 is help, 16 credits, and 17 is exit. We're going to 17 because we were only taking you through the setup procedure. In another uh, version at some point, I will show you how to create backdoor viruses. But that's it for now. I hope that you enjoyed that video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.